and welcome back. In this video, we will be dun 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 starting on the frame, fixturing the seat tube to the bottom bracket, and then tack welding it. But first, if you are new to this channel, you may want to jump back and check out some of my earlier videos where I pretty much cover everything up to this point, including the construction of a bicycle frame jig. Okay, with that stuff out of the way, let's get started. This is the uh, tube set I got a while back. It's just been sitting here in this box waiting patiently. This tube set is actually meant to be lugged and brazed, not TIG welded. I didn't know this until later and uh, oh well, we'll make it work. So I think I can use most of the tubes, but the head tube is too small for the headset I want. So I picked up a larger head tube uh, that will take a standard 34mm headset. The other tube in the set that is not quite right for a TIG is the seat tube. David from Veteran Bicycle dropped the knowledge on this. It's a single butted tube with a pretty thin wall on the seat post end. Normally there would be a, lugged, uh, a lug brazed to, the, to this end, so it's really not meant to be reamed. Here's the first frame I welded in a class. I say welded because that's all I really did to this frame. Uh, anyway, as an example, you can see that the C-tube has not been reamed and the C-post will not fit inside. So that's why the C-tube I have is wrong because the wall is so thin uh, that it should not be reamed. Uh, but that's okay because I'm not going to ream it Instead, I'm going to weld an integrated pivotal seat post onto it. Uh, it's basically just the top part of a seat post stuck on to the top of the seat tube permanently. Kind of like this. Okay, enough of that jazz. Here's the bottom bracket and seat tube. We will be uh, fixturing these up. We're going to use the frame jig. The center line of this jig is 4 inches out from the extrusion. 4 inches converted to millimeters is 101.6 millimeters. And uh, the bottom bracket is 68.44 millimeters. So half of that is 34.22. So we'll take 34.22 and subtract it from 101.6 and that leaves us with 67.38 millimeters. And uh, there we go. So we need the inside of the bottom bracket to be 67.38 millimeters out from the extrusion and that will put us on the center line. And here I'm marking the inside cone because uh, there's two cones and I don't want to get them mixed up just in case it comes off later for whatever reason and here I'm checking the length and I actually can't fit the tube onto the fixture so I gotta cut it and I'm checking to make sure that uh, I would not cut off too much and uh, I'm gonna use my bandsaw but I want to get a straight cut so I made this um, sled and uh, I spent a lot of time on this sled to get it all straight and squared up and I even straightened the table um, on the bandsaw and it was for nothing because uh, it, it doesn't work. It cuts very crookedly and I think I could have just cut it straighter freehand. Uh, but that's uh, the nature of band saws and we won't get into that because that's a whole nother subject But anyway this uh, little doodad I made I made this uh, quite a while ago And so the way this thing works is uh, You slide it up to the top of the tube and then you extend that little uh, V blocky thing out and You slide it back down to the bottom after you've you know tightened it and then you just push the tube up against it and now the tube is good and straight. So I'm just doing a sanity check. 
And this is the hole saw that I got first, and then I got a Starrett hole saw, which has more teeth and should cut better. Gotta check the um, how straight it is. And it wobbles. Alright, let's fixture this thing, and uh, something to note is the uh, one side of the bottom bracket has a groove on it, you can see it on the edge, and that groove indicates the right side of the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket has a left and a right side, and the right side goes on the side that your chain ring goes on, you know, your right foot. And uh, that's because the inside of the bottom bracket is threaded, and they're threaded in different directions. And there's my wimpy little tax because I was nervous. Uh, this being my first, the first tubes tacked on this whole frame, so I was being very conservative and a little too conservative. So I'm gonna, uh, when I get this thing off the jig, I'm gonna beef it up with a few more tacks. And these last two tacks oxidized. I think there was a draft underneath or something like that. So I'm gonna have to wire brush those out. All right guys, that's it for this week. And uh, next week we're gonna weld this thing. But we're not just gonna weld it, we are going to argon purge it. So if you wanna know what's up with purging, uh, please drop in and I'll see you guys in like a couple weeks. Let's face it. It takes like a couple weeks to make one of these videos So please be patient and uh, I'll see you guys then